Ze sikuwa nasikia anything after nimesha nini After nimesha ipo yu tablet, I didn't feel anything actually Nikuwa nasikia kuchungu mbali, but it's not that serious So I started walking with So girl Eve Nduko Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. So today guys, I'm going to narrate, or rather, yani, kuambia story yangu ya delivery, how it went down. Actually, when me, I didn't expect it, but when, mungu ni nani, mungu ni nani. I thank God, I came out alive, I thank God, my baby was okay, but now let me tell you how it went down. So, this is what happened. I was due on 1st of March, but first ikafika, nothing happened. Na even the siku iliisha, na I didn't experience anything. So I decided, let me go to the hospital so that now I can know what, you know, first time moms, kuna venye kuna kuangatuna nini. Like you don't want to, you just want to do things right. I love to the fact that CJ is at and I'm like, well, how does it happen? Nimefikisha 40 weeks na bado sijaza. Yani bado I'm not feeling anything, any pain. Hata when unapatanga mtu ana ana feel sijui ku nini. Unapatanga kuna msi ana feel stitches huku kwa kwa nini huku chini. So unapata ai a a. So I didn't feel anything. So I decided to go to the hospital. Mimi nikapaka mango zangu za mtoto na zangu I went to the hospital. I delivered at Kenyatta Hospital by the way. I'm proud of that hospital. These are very rich. See at now advertise but me I just feel at peace in that hospital. So after nimefika I was asked like when are you due and then niliwaelezea like my situation See, the way the way you always explain to the doc your situation and then after that now they they measured my if I had dilated so now they can tell me what's going on so nikapimwa njia mje iko imefunguka so iko imefunguka yeah all right yeah, I could focus, so I had to like now they told me a book I can't wonder if there's anything. They they had to admit me because singe singe rudisho nyumbani juko because sata sata kuzazi shafika na bado nothing has happened. So ni kampo they can I was in erudisha ni kambo to admit you. Kwa admit you ni kambo ni ngoje ngoje kaka kuna anything ita ita kiskia anything ni wambi. So the whole day, nikalalapo, nini, nothing happened, nothing happened by the way. So I was like, I was like, eh, na venye nuna mama oku wana dance, dance. Yani, I really, really wanted to feel that. I don't know if you, you guys, unaja, as long as usha beba mimba, trust you me, it starts sinking in your mind that the only way for this baby to come out ni kuzaa. So I was ready for that. I was ready to push, by the way, mimi nilikuwa ready. Izo vitu zote, yongo mayote ni imbe for the pain, I was ready for everything. But Evelyn, I could scare anything. Nika, nika, sasa doko waka, waka decide, I have to be induced. So, induction yangu, ilikuwa ya kwe kwa tembe, down there. So, because, asinge kwa, kunaja there are different types of induction. There's the ili ya kwe kwa kwa mkono, ili ya kwa kuleto chungu, that is after usha dilate at least at a 4 centimeters. But me, I'd not even dilated. So, they, ni, they have to to be put on any a tablet down there so that now it can bring the pain it can open the service because service yangu bado ilikuwa imefunguka ilikuwa imefungika so i i had to like be induced so that now it can it can, it can soften the service so that it can start opening it was supposed to be done three times but the first tablet suppose actually ina pasa kulete yo chungu na ina pasa like ina pasa kwanza kufunguka njia so you are tested after eight hours so, nika kwa dama, mi nika sikizia hivi, nothing, siski anything by the way, I don't know my body likuwa aje, sikuwa nasikia anything after nimesha nini, after nimesha yuko yu tablet, I didn't feel anything actually, nikuwa nasikia kuchungu mbali, but it's not that serious, so I started walking with nilambia kwa tembea, tembea njifu nguke wapi, so nika kuza nika testi wa mara ya kwa the saka madawi mefanya kazi, the dog said at least the service has softened, but it's a open, unaona, and lakini yu doka linebea 2 cm at least 2 cm so at least nika kuwa na hope nika sema yee I'm getting my baby at least by morning yu chungu na zita kuza usiku na jua by morning tapata mtu hui wapi nothing happened so I was induced the second tablet 
nikaekwa so nikaambiwa eh hey, let's hope he itafanya fanya kazi after we induced we waited for 8 hours again so i was induced around 12 the first tablet i was induced around 12 12:30 hapo so nikakuja kucheki usiku nikapata bado itafunguka nikakuja saa kwa kwingine after nimeko nyingine sana nikatesto asubuhi ma 6 hapo akukwa na kitu aki guys i cried i cried I didn't even pick up nataka ku pick phone ya mtu until my parents were worried my hubby was worried they were like kwani wamefanyikiwa nini you know so me i was scared nilikuwa nashangaa hizi ni mashida gani kwani what's wrong with me so hizi ni mashida gani at marume and you see one jija funguka and the doc had told me that itafanya wa me i cried i cried guys because I really, really wanted to like deliver this kid. Because sa asha fika, like na feel ni mechoka nini. So I really, really waited for him and I wanted to just deliver me a token. Me, I just hold my hair, my baby. That did happen. Nika induce ma marata, marata tu. Nika za kutembea tembea, nyone kaita funguka wapi nadi. Actually, I was not feeling anything, trust me. But then me yata have any other nasa masajia ti could deliver new chungu gani i didn't i'm yet to experience that maybe my second child god willing but mimi i didn't experience anything anything at all at even when you are smanga to watu anakram anafanya nini no maji at when you are skanga my water broke nothing i didn't experience anything like that so nika induce mara tatu I kufanya kazi. So I was like, what kind of a problem is this? What gave me hope? Let me tell you. The reason why even I stopped crying. Nilianza tuku tembea tembea po hozi ni kiulizia watu. Kwa bado, ukiulizia wa mama ngine. Bado, uja deliver bado. So they were telling me even them, they have been induced na ija work. So watu wananiambia wanaenda vieta. Sani CS. Ni aki guys I did. I was not ready for CS kabisa. Eku ime thinking that I'm supposed to. Like nilikuwa nasema, once antafanyi wa nini? So kuna de mwingine alikuwa me, ame induce wa evil, but yeye at least njii kafunguka, hake kwa induction nyingine ya mkono, uchungu ikakuja, akaza. So mi eva nilikuwa na jua, ni kindi in case hii fanya tifunguka inji ya kidogo wa mata four, at least nezewa ikiwe hii ya mkono ili tiuchungu wa rakaraka nizai. So mimi nika nini, nika at least nika nipati ya hope the fact that kuna madi mungine badu ija work. So nika na hume ni shida normal. So at least that gave me peace. Na sasa nika ngoja tu what the dog will see. So the first induction nika kata hizo induction yote nika for the three tablets nika kata. For the next thing to be decided what to be done to you, you have to wait for like 24 hours. So I waited for 24 hours in hospital. My ndiyo nilikuja hospital is second. Nilikuza hospital is second Sasa nisha induciwa the first day Nisha iyo yote ijafanya kazi Lazima nikoze 24 hours Kido kidogo sasa after 24 hours They will have to decide what to be done to me Doko wakakuza wakasema Siji there's a Theory which came and said If the first induction fails You don't do the second induction So I had to be done Nilikuwa nipele kwe theater so na jaku pele kwa theater you have to be like unai kwa line unatole wa damu ndo so that they can know what kind of ne blood you are nini like hemoglobin yako nini we ni msi wa kuongezo wa damu vitu kaizo by the mothers out there unonezi i first tunapiangwa nini clinic you guys don't do those medicines they help they help in blood by the me i lost a lot of blood wacha nisi anze kuwa lukua nini We'll jump into other stories before we, we conclude this one. But I'm saying, iyo ifas inasaidi anga sana kwa, kwa nini mama mja mzito. Those drugs really help in, nini in kuangeza damu kwa mwili. So you guys just take them every day, every day. If you're pregnant, take those nini to tablets every day because they really help. So, mi nikambuwa na, na nikai kwa line, nikatolewa damu, nikambuwa naenda dhye, naenda dhyeta. So nika ngoja, nikiwa tu hapo, nikiwa na ngoja kuenda theater, tuka kuja, tuka pimwa, mtoya kakuja, haka pimwa nini, haka pimwa the child, nini, the heart rate yake. E, kapachika na mtoya heart rate yake, hiko high. Nika mbua nini, the reason why is because the child is distressed already, because anapasa kuwa outside the womb already. So unawana pia kakona stress uko ndani. Na inwazi kiongezo ka stress, unapata nga kama ipupu ndani. So you have to like, it's a nini emergency, nini unapele kwa theater, nini. So nika mbua, it's an emergency and this, I have to go to theater with immediate effect. Mina kwa bea, atu ule mgoja angu chukue bagu, na mbonga tutakujia, tutakujia badaye. 
So Araka Raka, do you have any earrings? Do you have anything met metallic on you? Nini 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 uno lizo ivo. Unambu utoe, utoe. And then sasa after hapo, nika enda theater. Sasa nika pele kwa theater. Pele kwa theater, you are explaining. At least I, 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 I am happy and um, I was so happy the way like they treat you. King yoko theater wana kueleze tu pole pole what you are going to do to you. Don't be scared. This and this and this and this. Wana kueleze vizuri. So me at first I was scared. I don't know what you're doing. I'm not going to be able to get the other one. I'm not going to be able to get the other one. I'm scared, but God, me, God saved me. He saved me. And me, up to date, I just say, me, you're the other one. You're not God. So this is what happened. So after I'm going to get the other one, I'm going to get the other one. I'm going to get the other one. Spinal cord. Your sandu ina gandisha mwili. Na ina gandisha from the stomach to to legs. So kuju na kwa nguna jifil. But kuchini ujifil from the stomach. Yeah. After that, mi nika sikia. To be there, I was feeling everything what, what they are doing to me. But to feel pain. But you can feel what they are doing. Nuna venye. Yo kusukumanisho. Nika wanatoa mtoto. Nini nini. Nishuka hizo ni kwa na feel. And then another thing. I had the chance to to see what they are doing. But now. Una no wakwa nga meka. Yo 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 curtain apple. Is always your honor. But unona mi. Mi ni kiangalia juni. Kwa neza ona light. Kuna reflection ya light. Kwa neza ona light. Na ni kiangalia. Nige watch. Ah but mi ni kona. Mi staki kwa watch. Zo vitu. I don't want to see them kwa kini pasua hizo damu zote I didn't want to see them so after that mi mtoto wakatolewa baby was a chubby it was a chubby 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 nini it was a chubby just a minute he's crying I have to feed him yeah so nika pasuliwa and I was given a chubby bouncing baby boy. It was so cute guys. Actually by the time you see when you see your baby machozi tu na ata ata akunanga time ya kufikiria manini. Like machozi tu najitwanga yenyewe. Yeah and I was so happy it came exactly at 4:06 p.m. It was on a Sunday, it was 6th of March and he weighed 3.9 kg. My friend, I was eating. Nilikuwa nakula. Nilikuwa nakula. No wonder I think that I was eating. But yeah, I thank God he came out healthy. Ah, yes, but I was eating oxygen. I was eating. Kuna wenye I was eating. Aku na oxygen. So he kabidi akimbizo aiko oxygen because I think because of staying in the in the stomach for long at least I was able to use oxygen. Yeah. Thank God I I I received my bundle of joy yeah and that is the happiest 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 moment so after nini 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 kaza tuku safishu na safisha mwa nini na tuku wa damu is a little so here is now the touching spot after nime pele kwa recovery room kumbe nika cloth zangu waziku wazi memandizo kutolewa so unayakangwa tu hapo as you recover you know your body is still numb yani ujisiki kabisa I keep like when you operated, like when you are when you make fun your body, you are in Uganda. You don't feel anything, okay, guys. Any time you go on the plane, you are not even aware. Any time you are not even aware, you are not even aware. 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 You are not even I'm still bleeding. Yes, when one gives birth, actually, they kuna bleeding. For your information, I know most of the people don't know if people continue bleeding. But they were bleeding, but not a lot of blood. So, I was in the recovery room. I was in the doctor and I was in the hospital. I was in the hospital and I was in the hospital. Yes, you can't feel yourself, but at least I can feel like we do. We do the floor, we do the floor. Kwa angaliwa, nika patika na nizo cloth. Eh, zili kwa mingi. So, nika mpo, eh, adila ni mwenye alini opareta kwa udizo. Eh, did you guys need to move a cloth zote? Wakasema, yes, they did. So, eh, wakasema, siju mara isi normal nini. Aki, I started freaking out, you guys. Ay, nika shangasa ili shida gani ingine. Nika tolewizo ma cloth nini nini. Na wabu unasikia tu brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Mwika kuja ni katolewa kloti ya kwanza. Nini nini. Zikatolewa tena. So I lost a lot of blood. Nika ya kwa mnini. Nika ya kwa hizo madawa ni ate kuwa bleed. Nini. But yes I came out alive and kicking and healthy and misi kuongeze wa damu and I thank God I lost a lot of blood but hemoglobin yangu ilikuwa juu ilikuwa juu so it really helped a lot and yeah I'm so grateful that's why up to date by the way giving birth changes people because like you feel yani it's a death it's a death sentence people can come out of there or you can go and die so men out there be they respect all women women are powerful and women go a lot of shit by the way now when are getting it themselves together and they come out strong because they are at labor by the way kuna cases mingi unapata msia hata me mtoto wake amepass unasikia mwingine mtoto wake sijui mama mwenye amepass mtoto ametoka alive so you guys respect all women me i can campaign any day any time for women but this is me i'm a feminist by the way you can't tell me anything by the way women need to be supported and if you are a man out there umepeana ball umepeana ball na unaruka mimba please just know this ladies mwenye tu umemwi pregnant they go through a lot you guys just support your women support your women me i can campaign for that any day any time yeah me what i went through by the way it changed my life na saizi i'm so grateful to god for i came out alive and yes my bundle of joy is just about to turn two months and i'm so happy and so grateful thank you guys for watching me if you are new here please subscribe and yes continue supporting my channel and yes all nini we are all about positivity uh facing our fears and yes putting god first i love you all Mwah.